Sad news coming out of Colorado as we have learned the tragic passing here of Hugh McKean. He was the Colorado House Minority Leader Republican Party reportedly dying suddenly at the age of 55, Sunday morning, October 30th. We're going to get into all these details here, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, Hugh had just celebrated his 55th birthday. This was on October 27th. Celebrated his birthday with family and friends. Everything seemingly was going fine until it wasn't. Reportedly, on Saturday, October 29th, Hugh started not feeling so well. Now, it hasn't exactly been said what it was that he was suffering from, what exactly his, you know, his symptoms were or his complaints were. But now we have the report that Sunday morning, um, it was confirmed that Hugh McKean had died in his own home there in Loveland, Colorado. Just, again, kind of out of the blue, and he had just celebrated his birthday. Now, of course, right now they're not releasing any sort of a cause of death, anything like that, but, you know, I take a look at this like I do with all these reports that I do, guys, on these sudden deaths, as you know, and the question is always going to come up, was this, in fact, related to the Pinchy? You have to take a look at it. Does it follow a similar path, pattern? It does. Coming out of the blue, you know, I, there's been a bunch too that I reported on where we've heard the same report about how somebody that who had passed away wasn't feeling well the day before. And then by the next day, they were just gone. Like that, just out of the blue, just gone. He leaves behind his family. Uh, his children are going to be, I mean, just this is just so upsetting for them. I can't imagine what they're going through at this time. The House GOP have released a statement of their own. They released this on Twitter, announcing the passing here of Hugh McKean. And, you know, just described as a great leader, somebody who truly cared about those in Colorado. Um, and you even had Democrats, which just is nice to see that we're actually extending out their sympathies and prayers for Hugh's family, you know, it wasn't something that were, they were attacking him or anything like that. So that was actually very encouraging to see. I know Democrats have control there in Colorado, but um, I couldn't find a bad word that was said here about Hugh McKean and everything that he had done, not just in politics and for those in Colorado, but for mainly, you know, really his family um, and how everybody just respected him as a great man. And, you know, now he's no longer here. So they're going to Look to fill his seat here. Republicans reportedly will be um, selecting somebody to fill his position here um, in the near future. Also, a, a funeral service of some kind should be also announced uh, in the coming days. You could you could pay attention if you would like to uh, the Colorado House GOP Twitter account. If you're uh, someone that knows you uh, or if you live there in Colorado, I'll put the link in the description um, and you can go to that for more updates on uh, when those might be held. Uh, but, um, you know, our prayers here going out to Hugh McKean's entire family, that God would be with them all at this time. This is very hard for anybody to have to deal with. We've lost so many people in 2022. Uh, and if this is, in fact, from the pinchy, look, this thing is causing a lot of harm. People got to stay away from this. They got to stop taking it. It's taken way too many people out, both younger, you know, middle age, older, whatever your age. It, it's just, it, it's, it's got to go. Uh, there's an evil agenda behind this, ladies and gentlemen, unlike anything I've ever seen before. But look, I, I want to end this video with hope, like I do on every video. You know, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines here and how Jesus is coming soon, and he is. Uh, but this is why I want to offer you this opportunity to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, because time is running out. You know, you want to make sure... That whenever you leave this world, however you do leave it, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And so I would like to lead you in this prayer right now to accept Christ into your life. It's a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news, though, is this, is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. 
Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then go back into your old ways. No, but to actually turn from those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Guys, again, I'll have some more information on this for you down below. Our prayers once again going out to Hugh McKean's entire family. That God would be with you all and bless you at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.